South Africa has a serious role model problem. It's as if as long as you have money, you look fancy and flashy, you automatically qualify to be the greatest role model. How, where and why you got that money does not seem to be important to the masses. And that is so dangerous. Welcome to Citizen Concerned, where we remind you to beware of the comrades. One of the role models in South Africa is one of the rottenest business people in our country. A woman who acts like she's a good businesswoman, a hard worker or innovator, when really she's nothing more but a female Edwin Sordi. That's all. She's one of the country's most glorified entrepreneurs, celebrated online. We are really blessed by your um, presence into the studio. For us to have you here, it's incredible because for me, it's about the young people that can learn um, so much from your story and some of the things that you, you, you live for, like our purpose, which is pretty much them. Because mm -hmm. I guess Lama Camera, they exist to bus born and learn a thing or two from us. So true. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'm happy to be here and, uh, okay. Yeah. I guess I'm happy to be here for now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, um, let you know who is in studio. Um, congratulations to her for an honorary, 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 yes. Honorary woman of the year award. It is a momentous occasion, um, that was it, you know, it basically happened overseas uh, in Hollywood from the Hollywood and African prestigious awards. Watched by many on her reality show to see a corrupt woman display and flash a lavish lifestyle in front of their eyes. A lifestyle that is clearly funded by their taxes, by our taxes. I'm talking about Sean Mkise, aka Mum Kise. People like her, Edwin Sodi, Carol Bauer and others have looted our country's purse, but Cyril Ramaphosa is doing nothing to get this sorted out. Instead of the citizens demanding justice, they look at such individuals as inspiration, as role models, as a favorite influencers. Shana Mkise, a.k.a. Mam Kise, is the daughter of the late Dumazile Flora Mkise, a Etequini ANC councillor. So already we have a problem. This businesswoman of yours is related to an ANC politician. Her mother is a true and original founder of the company Zikulise Cleaning, Maintenance and Transport. She registered that company in 1997. This famous tenderpreneur, Mam Kise, who now owns the company, was actually registered as a director in the company when she was 22 years old. And by the time that her mother, the ANC councillor, died in 2008, the company had already received more than 100 million in RDP construction tenders. The ANC councillor's funeral was attended by ANC bigwigs of the time. So clearly, she's been protected from the inside for a long time. Two to three years after becoming the director of the company at age 24, Mum Kiza was convicted of tax fraud but never served a sentence. Look at her now, still benefiting through tenders and bothering us just like another person who got away with tax evasion. Several RDP tenders have allowed her to collect a massive fortune. Shonam Kiza received her first 10 million rand tender to build 277 houses in 2004 and some of the houses were later demolished because they were unsafe. If you look throughout these projects, you'll know Notice that it's a recurring theme on her RDP tenders. Why? Because she was neither qualified nor experienced to be getting these tenders in the first place. She was simply born by the right mother who happened to be in the right party. The National Home Builders Registration Council has criticized her company for building shoddy homes. That's a regulatory body that's supposed to keep us safe from these kinds of construction companies. But the municipalities kept giving Sean Mkiza tenders. My question to the ANC is this. What's so special about her? Why does she get all these RDP tenders as if there's something complicated about building RDP houses? 
Are there no small companies that could have benefited in a fair and sustainable manner? Why are a few people being allowed to get tenders that allow them to become billionaires when the rest of the citizens don't even have work? Look at her now. Range Rovers, Bentleys, Rolls Royces. The same people that she was meant to build RDP houses for are unfortunately celebrating her. The same people funding her lifestyle through their taxes support her even more by watching and promoting her reality TV show. When will we demand more from the usage of our taxes? When will we stop celebrating those who were appointed to improve the lives of the poor among us, but rather chose to improve their already posh lives? She has been investigated several times for fraud, corruption and tax evasion of more than 100 million for her projects, which have surpassed 1 billion rand by now. Sean Mpasane is Durban's tycoon with a taste for imported vehicles. But that could all come to an end. She's facing fraud charges for allegedly presenting a falsified engineering certificate to secure the tender to both low-cost government houses. Today, the asset forfeiture unit seized expensive items from her house, deemed as the proceeds of crime. Three of her properties were also attached. At the moment, removing eight luxury vehicles. There's two Rolls Royces, two Porsches, a Maserati, a Ferrari, as well as a Dodge Ram. The Durban socialite is set to appear in the Durban Magistrates Court tomorrow. One of the biggest problems we have in South Africa is that corruption does not send you to prison. Julius Malema did not go to prison for corruption. Jacob Zuma did not go to prison for corruption. Corruption rarely gets followed up on in this country. And because of that, corrupt people will start saying, if I was corrupt, why did they not send me to prison? Instead of going to prison, she even bought her son a soccer team. One that is pathetic, but okay, fine. A soccer team nonetheless. The same incompetent soccer team got a sponsorship worth 27 million. Not by Nike. Not a sponsorship with Heineken or Pick and Pay. No, they are being sponsored by a municipality. That is a failing municipality, failing to keep its streets clean. A municipality with no money. A filthy, dirty municipality. A municipality under administration due to mismanagement. That's the municipality that is sponsoring this crappy team, throwing money, more money, into the hands of this corrupt Mamkiza and her family. Why? So that they can flaunt it in front of the South African citizens. So that Mamkiza's son can flash the ill-gotten tenders in our faces while the rest of the country suffers. In KZN's Msunduzi municipality, Peter Marisburg residents live alongside uncollected waste and raw sewage. And yet its mayor still saw it fit to sponsor a Premier Soccer League club in a multi-million rand deal. A club owned by a controversial millionaire. A soccer team owned by a reality TV star, tenderpreneur and convicted fraudster. You know, in, in my case, God, when he shows up, he shows off. Her son, who was the first teenage chairman and sometimes captain of the PSL team his mother bought him. Tell me, Mr. Mayor, why did the municipality decide to sponsor the Royal AM Football Club? When council took that decision, <clears throat> We knew very well that there is no direct benefit. When I say direct benefit to the municipality, I mean in terms of rents and cents. We are one united front. You know, we always say that united we stand, divided we fall. I told them today, I said, my I said, I send them, I said, I give them permission to go and kill. Because if they don't kill today, they'll be killed. And I told them today that we are the Royal AM champions today. We must fight with our all. Shonam Kiza says she started a football club for her son and then named it Royal AM. Or is it Royal Andile Mpisane? When Andile Mpisane was just 19, his dream of playing in the Premier Soccer League came true because his mother bought him his very own team. The PSL rights for the Royal AM team cost her a mere 50 million rand. At the moment, 
I'm the chairman of the club and I've announced uh, Umamki is going to be president. I've never thought that one day my son will appoint me as a president. As a mother today, I feel very proud and I'm excited. And still, some of the suffering citizens see her as a role model, as an inspiration. They celebrate her for working hard and representing black business women. Everybody that you see as a finished product, they started somewhere. The reason why she's here is to share her story, to inspire you. Ugut, now you, you can become somebody, you can achieve your goals and get somewhere one day, but it, it doesn't happen overnight. It's consistency, it's a lot of work, it's mm -hmm. not giving up, it's getting backstabbed, it's losing friends, it's making new friends, mm -hmm. it's growing, it's working on yourself consistently, it's believing in God. There's a lot of hard work that comes within the success and uh, it's not so cozy mm -hmm. and uh, it's not it's just a smooth road that you go through before they can say there's a success and uh, that's easy money for her she's simply getting money thrown at her and Cyril Ramaphosa and the ANC are just sitting there like mummies while our nation gets looted Imagine the audacity of this woman. She got tenders because of who her mother was. She started flaunting that wealth on social media to more and more people. She has become a socialite. She's even been given shows to flaunt her wealth some more on DSTV channels. Uh, I don't do champagne, I don't do whiskey, but I think maybe I can be a cognac person. I like the name cognac, you know? <laughs> Cars with millions and millions, and that is the problem. Our young people start to look up to rubbish role models like her. A slimy, useless person who is benefiting unfairly above the rest of the South Africans who pay their taxes. Above people who are more competent. Above people who are working hard for their bread. Instead of working hard, this woman is being paraded in front of us by everyone. She is not a role model. She is one of the reasons why this country has been turning into one of the worst countries ever. And we need to stop this from continuing. And truth be told, whatever that you go through, it's either it's for the selection, it's a selection process, because you need to know who are for you that you need to take them as you climb and as you escalate those heights right. and take them with you. You make it look so easy though. <laughs> Sometimes when I see you, how you deal with challenges, how you react, how you respond to challenges or confrontation, you make the rest of us feel like, why am I putting a magnifying glass on this issue <laughs> and not just you know smiling my way through? How do you do it also just in terms of your mantra in life? As a corrupt individual who makes money, please show us the respect and decency of sitting in your luxury cars and your luxury homes without having to flaunt your ill-gotten wealth to us. Don't try to put yourself on a pedestal, acting like you're innovated or worked hard or, you know, you did something special to get where you are. You are in no place to lecture us or even advise us on anything. Shame on celebrities that hang out with these corrupt people. All of you have no shame. You have no value. You are not patriotic. All you want is to be seen next to these ill-gotten riches because you think we will envy you or worship you or think that you have made it. If only the people knew what rot and filth you hang around, they would shame you, they would shun you and despise you. To the rest of South Africans, what is your thought on these celebs of yours? Knowing that you're living in a poorly built RDP house or sitting next to uncollected waste because that money was given to Mamkize. I don't take my social media as a diary or a photo album, but I take it as an inspiration to any young woman there or any female who's out there who's definitely looking up to be someone. They must understand that it is possible to be a black child. You can do it on your own. You don't need anyone to do it with you. How do you feel about the ANC government making one woman so filthy rich when that money could have been used to make yours and million other lives better? Shame on the ANC and you, Sean Mkise. Shame on you, celebs that hang out with these fake business people. You legitimize them by hanging out with them. For what? Money.
I hope that when people see you sitting with these tenderpreneurs drinking expensive wines, they'll remember that you and these people are drinking their future, our future. Those are stolen opportunities that you are enjoying right in front of our eyes with these evil people. Shame on you and those like you. People don't vote for the ANC or any similar or worse socialists. I'm Katlero and this is Citizen Concerned. Until next time, beware of the comrades.